Yo, yo, my name's Ryan Barrick. My friends call me Ski Bum. I'm 24 years old and this is my house. This is what I live in full time. I travel all over the United States and Canada skiing, chasing snow. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a tour today and show you my lifestyle and how I live in this 28 foot RV. So let's go inside. Before I show the inside, I just want to explain the slide I have on this thing. It runs 18 feet. So it makes the inside a whole lot bigger. We got this awesome keypad, so I never have to worry about losing keys. We got a whole bunch of storage under the stairs in this little cubby right here. And welcome inside. I'll continue explaining the slide though. So right here is one side of the slide. It runs the whole length of the RV to the very end and it slides in and out when I'm not driving. The wall slides the whole way from there into here. So it gives it a whole lot more space as you can see. This is my living room. I got a whole bunch of storage up here, movies, bunch of tall tee gear, ski gear, maps, hammock, some surf gear. We got skateboards, mountain bike pads, helmet, whole lot of space. We got tall T deviation collab skis. Moving back onto the kitchen, we have this three burner stove, oven for pizzas, microwave, toaster, big sink, running water. We got this really big fridge, runs off of propane and 120 volt. When it runs off propane, it's really efficient. So I mostly stick with that. We got a whole lot of food storage. Um, we got my awesome king size bed, super comfortable. A whole lot more storage above it. We got my skis from Deviation that they made to remember my dog when he passed away. Thank you guys for that. Surfboard. Some more really sick skis from Deviation. They got my RV on them. Hit them up if you want to buy them. We got a huge closet. Holds a lot of tall tees. We got an 80 gallon water tank down below that. So all my fresh water, shower water, drinking water, some more storage down here, mini TV DVD player up here. We got the ski closet right here, syndicate pants, tall tee hoodies, tall tees. We got more storage under the bed. We got my vinyl sticker maker right there. Some travel bags down there. We got the artwork for the skis. Shout out to Sammy Kina. We got some electronics, camera headphones. Big fan of Polaroid cameras. Got some more hoodies in here. Syndicate hoodie, tall tee hoodie. And then we have this main control panel for the RV. It does the furnace and air conditioner, slide controls, generator controls, water pump, water heater, shows you the level in your black tanks, your fresh water tanks, stuff like that. We'll move on to the bathroom. I have this really nice bathroom, sink, toilet, shower, my wetsuit's hanging up right now. I'm six foot. And look at all the space I have. I got this awesome sunroof. Um, got a whole lot of storage in here. Got this really nice fan. Big mirror. But the one awesome thing about this RV is that everything electric in it when I'm living on the road and not plugged into a house runs off of solar. I have solar panels on the roof I'll show you, but right here, I can see how much solar I'm getting and what the state of my batteries are at. I got four 100 watt solar panels. I wired them all in myself. Coming down the ladder, after showing you guys the solar panels. This is the back of the RV. We got a rear view camera up there for backing this big boy up. I got some chairs and snorkeling gear in here. 
We have some skis, lacrosse stick, fishing rod, grill, some more tools in this one. We got Honda generator that's very efficient and quiet, hose, extension cords, some snow shovels. I got my bike outside so I can make this video. Um, we got some more storage in here. Just some leveling blocks, gasoline, oil, maintenance stuff. In this one, we have hydraulic jack pump for the jacks to hold the RV level, which are really nice to have. I also have four solar batteries right here. My solar battery bank is about 455 amp hours, which is pretty good. It seems to do the job for me. Moving on to the other side of the RV, we have the 6.8 liter V10 in this thing. So unfortunately we only get eight miles to the gallon. On this side of the RV, we have the onboard propane tank. I added this extender adapter so that I can add these two external tanks so I can take them and get them filled up separately without having to move the RV. It also expands my propane storage as well. In this one, we have the water pump and outdoor shower. Over here, we have the black tank and all your drainage and stuff like that. We have the freshwater hose with filter. This cord right here is connected to the solar and it connects to heat cord, which is this cord that right here runs around all of my pipes. I added this so that when it gets really, really cold in the winter, I can still shower and run water and not have to worry about things freezing and breaking. So that was a really big upgrade I did. It took a while to install all that, but I'm super stoked on how that's been going. That runs off solar really well. Moving further back, this is my water heater. This is my furnace. And right here is the onboard generator. I try not to use this one as much because it burns gas in my gas tank actually. And it shakes the whole RV because it's connected to it. So the Honda one's really nice to just run an extension cord 100 feet away from the RV and get the noise away. But I like to thank you guys for hanging out and listening to my tour and my video. And I hope you're excited and have any questions or anything, hit me up, let me know what you're thinking. Oh, I love talking about simple living and vehicles and all that stuff. So let me know what you think. Thanks, bye.